Hi everyone, today I will show you something really amazing and useful, how you can create this fillet washout. So you see we have two surfaces blending in one beautiful clean surface. Why is that so important? Because if we check out modern cars, literally almost every car has exactly that design element. Just looks really, really cool. So here's all of the Mercedes have it, right? So it's in the back. It's also in the front, also another one here, also Porsche and all that kind of stuff. So it's basically after this tutorial when you will go out and you will just check out cars, you will always see this element. So let's check that out. And if you want to learn the full step-by-step -step process of modeling a Porsche 911 from scratch, I've created a brand new course that teaches you industry standard techniques with easy to use plasticity tools. You will master everything from creating precise curves to producing high quality, complex surfaces and blending seamless transitions, all broken down into simple steps. So if if you're ready to use plasticity in incredible, never before seen ways, check out first link in the description for all of the details. And now let's dive in into our today's video. All right, so this could be the rear bumper, right? And guys, go below this video, download exactly this project so you follow along. Don't just watch and think you will learn anything. Just download that, it's a Google Drive, one click and you can follow along and you will learn 10 million times more than if you just watch it. All right, so, so we have this nice situation. We have one big smooth surface and we have two other surfaces, right? So it could be here, this uh, Porsche. So this area here, right? And how you would do it is you would first create some rough block outs and then you would start to blend it because right now it doesn't look exactly what we want. So let's do that. And first of all, when we have two surfaces transition into one, we first want to create another curve because we need two and two. So two in total, two in total surfaces, right? So we have to break this piece definitely down. And once we have con that connected, we first of all, of course, have to create some uh, blends, right? Because here we have an edge, so we have to blend everything. First the big one, then the second one. And then we can create the final little fillet with the pipe and then it will smoothly transition into the surface. As always, just follow along. I explain everything will make everything much more sense. So first of all, join everything and we need here a nice curve. So for that, I will just select this face and isoparam command. So just search for it for me, it's control R, just somewhere here. And then we can take those two edges and shift B, it's my command for bridge edge and G1 is just fine here for me. And you can really experiment around where you want to uh, bring this edge in. And now just take this edge and imprint, imprint curve command onto this big surface. So we have that situation, right? So we have both, uh, so we have two surfaces on both sides. Now we want to blend everything here in a nice way. So there are 1 million different ways, of course, and it really depends um, what exactly you want to achieve and how it looks in a reference. But just again, to show you the technique and workflow, we will just use a pipe. So select this edge, duplicate it, shift D and just press P and just rebuild that curve, go to points, 10 points or something, and press P and give it here a nice juicy uh, pipe because we want a nice smooth transition. So, okay, delete the curve and select this face and this face and just extrude them. So you are going over 
this edge, right? And first of all, let's unjoin the, the bottom surfaces. So select those faces and just unjoin. And the same here for the top, select those both and unjoin command. I have it here on my Pi menu. Perfect. Because now if you go to object mode and you select this long piece and shift click the pipe, and if you imprint now and press OK, you can also Boolean that, but I like to use imprint. Why? Because I can now delete this pipe and I can see where my edges are. And if I want, I can take them and duplicate them and uh, adjust them or just before I boolean that out, I, I, I see the distance and stuff, right? Because otherwise if, uh, so you can also just do it if you select this face and shift click this pipe. And if you just press Q, then mom, it's instant boolean, but then it's instant um, removed. So sometimes that's what we want, sometimes not. But in this case, again, I want an imprint. So I select this face and this one and imprint command, okay, and delete the pipe. And for, for me, it's fine here. So I can then delete those faces with Shift X. And now we want to create a nice blend. So there are a lot of different ways, but just let's keep it simple. Hide the, the, those top surfaces. And let's first select those edges at the top and bridge edge command. And with G2 should be fine. Maybe reduce a tiny bit the tension and the same at the bottom again, bridge edge command. So check that out. And now just loft those edges and shift and shift and give it here G2. And we can delete everything and press four and join. And now, first of all, we have a nice, good, beautiful blend here, right? So Alt H and let's bring everything back. Oh, wow. Okay. I still have all of those building stuff. So let me hide it. So we have now this situation, right? So, oh, oh. so of course we also have to blend the same here at the top. So select this face and isoparam command and just snap it here. And also from the front view, or you can also just create a line and snap here by the blend starts and just drag that up and imprint onto this face. And you have something like that. So here the angle is maybe a little bit too strong. So you will have to be cautious about it. Otherwise you can just select this face and again, isoprion command and create an um, edge here, edge here. So this might work a little bit better. So you have just to check it out, but I will just show you both uh, methods. And now we want to delete those faces in between and do the same, select those edges and bridge them with G2, reduce a tiny bit the tension and let's loft those first and squeeze them here and here. And ch check out the zebra maybe. And I think maybe we can achieve a better result if we first loft those guys here and squeeze them. You know, you see the zebras look a little bit better. So let's give it here G2 and G2. And yeah, that looks, oh yeah, that look perfect transition. So this is perfect. And let's go back into our reflection here and press four and join everything. And now step one is completed. And look guys, it's perfect. We don't have any, any, any issues. And we have two very beautiful uh, surfaces smoothly transition into one clean uh, surface. But here we see we have this extra edge and we can even delete it before we start to fill it that. So select this whole surface and command delete redundant topology. And now it's even cleaner. And yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. And this is here exactly what we have. So yeah, with some curve and stuff. And now we want to add the fillet because also what I see again, a lot of beginners do. I mean, it's not wrong, especially as a beginner, you don't have to do what I will show you here, but it's not the yeah, car modeling way <laughs> because a lot of beginner would now 
just take this edge and just start to fill it that and they would think oh yeah that's cool and stuff it doesn't look cool at all because here look it's extremely sharp here and we don't have any smooth transition because again if you check out some good reference images you see we it's this fillet is washing out it's blending into our smooth surface here right so you see it's kind of getting bigger or something right it's not really but you know what i mean because here you see it's really not what you want so that's why we have to do it manually by selecting those two edges shift the duplicate and we have to rebuild them first give them 10 points or so or like 13 press ok and now p again pipe and just leave it as a very small pipe because the fillet will be very sharp and delete the curve here and go to the end and extrude this so it's always covering everything and the same at this end also extrude this face so you're covering all of those faces and now we have to um, again boolean that out but we don't want to boolean into our clean surface here so we have to first select those four surfaces unjoin them so alt j or unjoin and now again press tab select the face and the pipe and press q to boolean that and first of all press 4 join everything and um, okay first of all let's select those two edges and just love them with g1 or g2 doesn't really matter so much here when it's such a tiny fillet and now press 4 join everything and now we have to solve this little triangle so very simple just select this face and shift click this face and shift b uh, so bridge edge command shift b is my shortcut and leave a g1 or g2 as you want okay and press c and cut into the surface so you see we can just delete this little triangle so we have one nice smooth um edge now just um, yeah, let's try this direction first and see what we get okay press 4 join everything and now you see that looks much 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 better and if you want to learn more about the full process of modeling this amazing porsche check out first link in the description for all of the details most amazing course in the world see you in there bye